hi friends i am manoj welcome back again to our youtube channel in today's session we will learn the prerequisite to learn master data before master data we have to know how to create customer master how to create material master how to do stock posting and finally we have to execute one order to cash cycle that order creation delivery creation and billing creation thereafter we'll start master data we'll we'll check the functionality of each and every fields which we have in customer master material master customer material info record and condition master i'll try to follow easiest way to learn all master data so that a fresher can able to understand and learn sap st from scratch from this youtube channel in this session i will show you how to create customer master if our sessions are useful for you then please do subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to get time to time notification for upcoming sessions a request now onwards we will upload all st tutorial in a sequence so that you can learn st from youtube channel yet we have completed enterprise structure what are the what are the what are the uh, things we have completed in enterprise structure first we have completed in day one of overview on enterprise structure day two definition of enterprise structure day three assignment of enterprise structure day four interview questions day five rollout project so what are the activity we have to perform in rollout project then to today's session will be dedicated for prerequisite to learn master data and prerequisite what we have to learn here before master data first customer master creation second material master creation third one is stock posting then fourth one is uh, uh, we have to execute one otc process which includes order creation delivery creation and billing creation so why why uh, these are the prerequisite to learn master data because in customer master or material master or cmir or condition master inside master data we are having fields so quickly i'll go to sap screen i'll go to the customer master I'll search by company code. Then I'll go to any tabs. Then under one tabs, we are having some fields. We are having order probability. We are having authorized group. We are having pricing group. Pricing, customer pricing procedure, price list. So each and every field will check in practical. What is the use of this field? What is the business requirement to use that particular fields? So if we we'll talk about price group or any other fields, currency determination, if we we'll create sales order VA01, sales order delivery billing creation, at that point of transactional data only we can check. So next tab. Another tab, if we we'll go to shipping tab also, we are having some fields. Delivery priority. What is the purpose of delivery priority and business requirement? When we we'll go for the order combination, if you can able to create one sales order, then only we can check the functionality of order combination and all other fields. So to create sales order, we need customer master and material master. Without customer master and material master, we cannot create any sales order. Before sales order, we have to know order uh, customer master creation, material master creation. Then we can able to create the sales order. 
so if we we'll talk about the delivery then we need to know about the stock costing so without stock of the material in sales order schedule line data confirm quantity will be zero if confirm quantity is greater than zero if stock is available then only we can able to create then only we can deliver the goods to customer and we can able to create delivery in sap system if delivery is there then billing will be created that is the reason we have to know how to create customer master how to create material master stock posting then we have to know order creation process delivery and billing creation then here i'll not explain what is master data what are the advantages of master data and what is the important of master data what are, uh, uh, just here we have to know what are the master data we have for sd consultant customer master second one is material master third one is uh, condition master or else you can call it as pricing master then customer material in for account then now i'll show you how to create customer master so in real time project end user is responsible to create master data so end user will access in sap easy access screen when you enter when we log into sap system will propose easy access screen so first i will show you the path then we'll go to the central t code then go to business partner then this is the path okay this is the path to create customer master and this is the transaction code xt01 is the transaction code to create customer master okay so once again i'll show you go to logistic then under logistic go to sales and distribution go to sales and distribution then uh, customer then business partner then customer then create then complete okay so or else directly you can use the transaction code xt01 okay we'll follow the ppt what are the steps we have so first we will go to the xt01 xt01 what are the inputs i have to give i have to give account group here you have to select account group as 001 001 then your company code sales area which we have uh, configured in enterprise structure sales area is nothing but sales organization distribution channel and division thereafter click on continue then system will propose general data so what are the views generally what are the views we have in uh, customer master first is general data second one is company code data then third one is sales area data so first we will fill the general data so general data consists name address communication details of the customer so first i'll give the title title would be company if it is customer is company then company if it is individual then doctor mr mrs so based on your nature of customer you have to give the title then here give the name then search term search term is the short name of the customer then i will give the address suppose fourth floor d55 d56 utkal business park india then right side we have to allocate we have to allocate region code region code for odisha is 18 then transportation zone all 01 scroll to down if you want to give the telephone number then you can give your telephone number means customer's telephone number customer mobile number customer mail id So you have to give desired 
telephone number mobile number and email address then enter close this close this then enter then click on company data so we are in general data as i told that customer master is having three views first is general data then second one is company code data and third one is sales data data so now we are on company code data sorry general data so general data is highlighted then now I, if i'll click on company code data then i'll go to the company code data then go to the company code data okay email address is invalid enter then click on company code data then standard reconciliation account is one lakh forty thousand so i'll give one lakh forty thousand one then when i'll enter i'll get this error if you go to ppt then same error is there first i have entered uh, the details in general data then i went to company code data in company code data i have to maintain reconciliation account one lakh forty thousand one lakh forty thousand is not available in your company code that is the reason i am getting this error i'll use why i have entered one lakh forty thousand and one because one lakh forty thousand is already created for me so i'll use another one gl account so that we can uh, we, we can encounter the error because when we create customer master first time for an enterprise structure mandatorily you will get this error and this error is related to fi consultant not to sd consultant in real time project fi consultant will look into this error so right now we don't have fi consultant so we'll resolve this error so what is the solution go to obi 6 and in obi 6 we have to maintain chart of account int fiscal year variant v3 then field status variant 1000 posting period variant 1000 maximum range trade deviation 10 so five things we have to maintain over here once again i'll repeat these error will be resolved by these error will be resolved by fi consultant okay so fi responsible to maintain obi6 create a new session then go to obi6 obi6 then go to position and select your company code my company code is jd00 in jd00 i will maintain chart of account int fiscal year variant v3 then field status variant v3 sorry 1000 posting period variant 1000 then maximum exchange rate deviation 10 percent so here five things you have to maintain int v3 and for uh, field status variant posting period variant and maximum ex uh, exchange rate deviation then save it save it then next we have to create gl account so transaction code to create gl account is fs00 so for you you create one lakh forty thousand and maintain one lakh forty thousand in customer master i'll maintain one thousand forty lakhs and one because one lakh forty thousand is already created for my company code okay so this is the way to create a gl account fi consultant in in real time project fi consultant is responsible to define gl account so transition code to create gl account is fs00 slash nfs00 then one lakh forty thousand already created i'll create one lakh forty thousand one and give your company code but for you we can create one lakh forty thousand click on create with templates then standard reconciliation account is one lakh forty thousand and standard company code is one lakh so here give one lakh forty thousand company code standard company code one lakh oh, sorry one thousand then click on continue then save it then again go to master data creation screen if you enter then error will be removed error is already uh, resolved then click on payment transaction and in payment transaction one thing we have to check payment history record then directly i will go to the next view that is sales area view sales area data 
So click on sales area data. Okay, so now we are having sales, shipping, billing, and partner function. In sales tab, I will not maintain anything, keep blank. Then go to shipping. In shipping, I will fill the mandatory things. First is delivery priority, and second one is shipping condition. Okay, then enter. Then I will go to billing tab. In billing tab, I will maintain in quote terms as CIF, then city code here. City where customer is located. Then terms of payment now maintain triple zero one. Then account assignment group zero one. Then tax classification one. Okay. If you'll save this, then system will allocate one sales, uh, sorry, customer number and customer will be created. Okay. Now customer code created. Now customer code created. So it is not possible to remember all the customers which we have created for our uh, sales area or company code. If you want to see, we are having one standard reports. Next time when we'll see what are the customer matter created for your organizational units means sales area. Then you have to go to VCUS. Transaction code is VCQST. If you go to VCUS, if you'll pass your sales organization, distribution channel and division, if you'll we'll execute, then you'll get the list of customers which we have created. So for this uh, sales area, I have created two customer master. So transaction code, remember M, sorry, V cust, V C U S T. It's the standard reports. Okay, so already we have filled all the uh, uh, mandatory fields which we have in sales tab, shipping tab, and billing tab. Same way you have to create a customer master and if you'll find any kind of errors apart from GL account creation, 1,40,000 GL account creation, then feel free to ask me. I will help you to create master data. So I'll be available on WhatsApp, direct call or mail. You can reach me out on above com contact details. So guys, if you like this video, then please click on like button and if you have not yet subscribed our channel then click on subscribe and click on bell icon to get notification from our youtube channel for upcoming sessions so guys thank you so much for watching this session